Had to keep working on me Till I got it right, right, right This whole key looking at me Now I got it right, right, right All of a sudden, big baller from Key What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here to break down a brand new week of sneak releases. We got Nike, we got Yeezy, and that's just about it to tell you the truth. And in this video we're going to break down retail prices, resale predictions, is it worth the buy, how you can get your hands on a pair, and we're going to spend about two minutes on each sneaker. Break down, of course, the aftermarket as well. And today we had two massive shoes drop. We had the Adidas CC700 V3s and the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffles. We're going to break down that a little bit on the resale side of things. Those are drop so me telling you how to get your hands on a pair will be pretty much worthless oh uh, we did cop a lot about six pairs manually believe it or not will they get canceled possibly but shouts out to time boy tv plus once again the group that i own and run along with a few other great humans uh we our bot classes have been coming in clutch we even tried to run a high tier bot this time around on easy supply so make sure you check out resellers corner dropping this sunday if you want to see how that went for me uh but once again this video we're going to be breaking down a whole lot of releases and honestly i thought by this time of the month Nike would have calmed down a bit because they've been going crazy for the fourth quarter. Adidas too a little bit, but literally Nike is not stopping. Only on Christmas Day, we are hopefully not going to see anything drop. But the day before, we're going to have something dropping. The day after Christmas, we're going to have something dropping. And so we also got the last week of Supreme this week. And of course, we got Bape and Palace as per usual. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to pop on the green screen and get right into it. And as you guys can see, we're up on the screen. We got also, before we get into this, I did want to just say happy holidays to everybody out there. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, I don't know the rest, but happy, happy, whatever you're celebrating, I wish you the best, happy and healthy new year as well, um, I mean, it's been a Saudi year, it's been a crazy year, but you know, it is what it is, we gotta roll with the punches, and I also wanna say, if you guys wanna stay tuned, give me a gift as well, you don't have to subscribe button, I really appreciate it, we'll be doing a free giveaway, uh, right after Christmas for the Supreme Box logo size, this large, Cross box logo, if you want it, we're gonna be doing giveaway for that, so hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see the whole review of this sexy ass sneaker, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below and stay tuned to the video. They'll be dropping on Wednesday. We're gonna be in store Supreme vlog on Thursday, so make sure you stay tuned for that as well. We're not stopping just because it's the holiday season, baby. We're going full force into the new year. But as you guys can see, we're up on Nike sneakers, and unfortunately, as you can see, it says sold out on Sakai. It says sold out on these Jordan 1 lows. That means we did not end up catching this magnificent W today. It is what it is. You got to roll with the punches once again. Uh, but first up, regarding into the Sakai's. These already came out today at $180 retail. Whatever the hell looks great. The green color rate came out last week. Um, they were supposed to come out together as a pack. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like there were some shipping delays or some sort of shenanigans that went out with Nike. And of course, they ended up having to delay the release. Like we've seen, it's no surprise. Though. Nike's been delaying releases this whole entire year. But I ain't going to blame them. Shit happens. I understand coronavirus, all that shenanigans. Uh, but we do got them pulled up on the resale market now if you copped any pair i would say either sell it right now pre pre online orders pre before anyone thinks about selling shoes um if you got confirmed 100 confirmed order just because the fact is if you take a look at the green one i'm gonna compare them the same way these drop down a significant amount they're at well like four i mean i got a size 13 so i'm a little bit different i am in a different boat right over here uh, but size 8 is like at 463 450 and we take a look at the this color rate right over here a size 8 at oh it's even a bit lower whoa whoa but if you got a small size i would hold them i'd honestly hold any size uh, especially of the capital that's a no question of a hold once again though if you ever catch i say this all the time and it's probably my last time saying this if you ever catch a w on the first color rate of a collection like these right here the black whites and the white red and blues always hold the v1 color rate of a collection just because nike likes to milk the shit out of every single collab they do and uh eventually people just look at the first color because it's always to be the most neutral colorway and easiest to rock and that's where they go end up going back to but if you cop the pair once again i recommend holding them sakai's always always go up without a doubt uh then we go to the journal one low centric quartz we told members not to sleep on this shoe um i somehow took an l on it it's not crazy profit right over here um but it's a deep Decent little quick brick flip if you caught small size big size it doesn't really matter they're all doing the same this is honestly a solid sell now or even a i think a good hold reason why there's not that many uh actually there's a decent amount of asks up there so you know what selling it now wouldn't be too bad of an option 135 dollars retail right over there now we're finally getting into the bread and butter of this week we got the woman's dunk high varsity purple retailing for 120 us dollars already came out in the eu at select retailers almost all of them i think uh just all it's up to is the us boys now if you did 
didn't know, once again, Nike Dunks, non SBs, will be ending up at Jimmy Jazz, Hibbit's, Finish Line, Full Lockers, even all those type of stores. Dunks will be available at them. Nike's changing the whole entire of release procedures of Dunks and SB Dunks as well. They're going to be pushing more SBs out of skate shops and into high tier shops. Why is that? Psh, I don't know, but Nike, you gotta start supporting small businesses because it's not a good look, I'll tell you that much. But uh, we got the purple Chloe coming out here, only dropping a woman's sizing. Biggest size we're gonna get to see, I think, is in a, a 12 women's or 11 and a half women's. A 12 women's is a 10 and a half men's, 11 and a half women's is a 10 men's, and so forth. It's a one and a half differential. You can break it down for your size, uh, depending on what you wear. Honestly, I'm a big fan of this one. Purple dunks, we haven't seen one a single purple dunk besides the veneers this year. Uh, so I think it's a solid send it's definitely worth the cop no question about it the only thing that's different by the way if you didn't get that trivia question from undefeated i think or concepts actually um is the fact the only thing that's different between the uh, original version which dropped in 2000 or 1999 or 2001 somewhere between those three years is the translucent soul so the other other version that dropped a few years back more than two decades ago um did end up having just a solid color blue soul if you just wanted some trivia over there now so the resale market and it's not looking the greatest for certain sizes, specifically like an eight woman. It's all right. I mean, it's still profit at the end of the day, but I think they should all be over $200 easy. But once again, once the UK boys, EO humans get a hold of a specific shoe, they love to break the shadow. And honestly, I don't complain. I love the fact when they come out here and break releases, just because the fact is it makes a lot more room for investing and it makes a lot of people sleep on specific shoes, just like the, the soft, soft flowers that dropped. They're already up 20, 30 bucks from initial release. So I'm complaining about it. Um, but if you want to focus on best profitable sizes that's definitely gonna be 11 and a half 11 12 10 and a half 10 9 and a half and then specifically five five and a half six six and a half those eight sizes or so are definitely the most profitable but if you want your best chance i recommend going between a size seven and a half and eight and uh nine or so just between there definitely not profitable but you definitely have a better chance just because most re retailers will be stocking up a bit more in those specific shoes but keep in mind specific u.s retailers already did drop these such as undefeated social status if i'm not mistaken um i think concepts already did drop but they will i think actually no they didn't i think they are still yet to drop i would definitely just check out their instagrams for more information now as for the main release of this week i'm gonna want to say it's these kobe 6 pro tro green apples aka the grinches they already did release via exclusive access about a week and a half ago. We already got our pair in the way, so we might end up having an early hand review. Actually, we won't have an early hand review. We'll have a probably a few days after uh, review in hand of the shoe. Truth be told, I'm not the biggest Kobe sneaker guy. I never even bought a single pair. Not going to lie to you, I hopped in the bandwagon this, this year. Just because the fact is... Um, I copped the black and golds. I gave those away to the homie. Um, but as for these green ones, uh, I might end up just trying to flip them. No lie. Um, it is what it is. You know, I don't know what to tell you. All I know is that for a fact that Nike is going to be stocking these up a bit more than they have on the Bruce Lee's comparatively. Rumor is that this is the first shoe that Nike didn't manufacture and produce after Kobe's tragic passing away. RIP the GOAT, no doubt about it. Um, but this is the first year they did produce after the, that uh, tragic incident did happen. So as a result, there's going to be more stock compared to what previously occurred. Foot sites will probably have around 10,000 pairs. Roughly, I want to say probably a bit less than that. Um, it's going to be a tough cop nonetheless. Sneakers is going to have the most amount of stock compared to any retailer. But almost every single retailer that had the Bruce Lees is going to have these. Uh, check your FLX apps. That's Foot Locker. We're going to have a full how to cop cut for these as well. But check Foot Locker for instant reservations. Full how to cop cut on this shoe will be out tomorrow. But definitely worth the buy. If you want to resell it. You do you. Personally, myself, as I said, I'm probably going to end up flipping my pair. Uh, depends how many I get. But I'd love to host a giveaway as well if we caught multiple, which hopefully we will with our with our bot fingers. We'll definitely be giving away a pair of these just because the fact is I know a lot more people appreciate this shoe more than I do. And it has a lot of, a lot of nostalgia uh, effect for a lot of people. So I 100% respect it. Don't get me wrong. Just myself, I don't got that personal connection. Um, all sizes are a cop. You got to do what you got to do. All going to be profitable at the end of the day. Keep in mind, more stock than per usual. But now probably my... Probably my favorite release of this week, I have to say, is the Blazer Low Medicom Toy Bear Brick. I'm a huge, huge fan of Bear Brick. Been copping a lot more pieces than usual. Her in the bank account a bit because that, that international shipping don't do you justice, but it's $80 retail right over here. Dropping in just a single creme colorway. It's going to be the same style and same effect and same materials used as the Nike SB Dunk Lows that dropped about two years, two weeks, two months ago, I should say. Let me pull it up for you guys. Not to get cocky with it, but we somehow did pull off 
a free pair. Shout out Nike. Uh, they refunded me saying it never arrived and I guess it didn't, but it kind of did. This is a size 13. So you know that firm material on here, it's gonna be the same exact material on the Blazer Lows. Some people are fans of it, some people aren't. Dude, this fucking smells so damn good. I shit you not, but this shoe should be worth double of what it is right now. I don't understand why it's not. Um, I don't. I really don't. I don't know why people love to brick bare brick shit, but they just do. I, I guess people aren't big fans of it. It's a bigger brand overseas for sure, but I'm honestly just a massive fan of them. I'm very, very grateful for that W because out of any SB besides Sean Cliver's, those would have been my top pick of the year. Um, now, so resale market on this specific shoe, it's looking pretty decent. Asks are crazy high just because the fact is a lot of shops are going to be getting these like SB shops. Most are probably going to end up doing first come first serve just because the fact it's a blazer and blazers are typically in much higher production than SBs are. But keep in mind what I predicted or what I feel is going to happen. Shouts out to Travis Scott for kind of putting that shit on is Nike Blazers are going to be making a bigger and bigger comeback. It's slowly coming into effect. Not too much. Travis Scott put on a few here and there, but I don't think Travis Scott has that effect. He once did like two years ago when he started the whole SB wave. I just don't think he's going to be doing it like that no more. I don't feel like, I honestly don't feel like there's any main figure in media or culture right now that it would drive a whole shift in market, to tell you the truth. But I do see it just progressively going to happen because people are going to get sick and tired of taking L's and they're going to get sick and tired of wearing SBs, to tell you the truth, just how they did a few years back. But nonetheless, these are definitely worth the buy. $80 retail. I see market probably dropping down to like $150, $140. Check with your local skate shops. Sneakers is going to be dropping these once again. Uh, and certain high tier retailers will be having these as well. This will be a much higher production rate than SB Dunk Low, so keep that in mind. But once again, it's well, well worth the buy. Uh, then the big retro release of this weekend is the Air Jordan 12 Varsity Reds dropping for 190 US dollar retail. Black and red colorway, definitely worth the quick local flip in my eyes. I definitely see this shoe going for the decent, decent money. Just because the fact is it's black and red, it's flu game, it's a Jordan, it's December time, people got money, they're about to start, oh, 700 just shock dropped on the site. We missed it. It's all right, though. It's all right. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, it's going to be dropping for $190 retail. Nike Sneakers is going to have these available on the 26th. That's a day after Christmas. Once again, Christmas is this Friday. Christmas Eve is, Christmas Eve is Thursday. Uh, so this Saturday, we're getting right back into it. Foot six are going to have decent stock, over 30,000 pairs or so, just around there. Um, SKU code is CT8013-602. Overall, going to be, have to be a good local flip. Is it worth the hold? Not really, unless you want to hold for over a year, then you might end up making $50 more than you are right now. Maybe even $70, depending on the size. To be bigger sizes, do a lot better in Jordan GR Retro, so keep that in mind. But once again, Jordan Retros are only really worth the hold, unless you got a shit ton of capital and you are willing to have a good local clientele in a year or so. Once again, here's a look at market, $250 to $280, depending on size. Right now, bigger sizes are definitely the move. Size 14 is going for the stupid high. Uh, I expect this to drop down uh, fast. Uh, once again, FLX, meaning Full Locker, Champs, East Bay, Kids Full Locker, all of them are going to have instant reservations, so make sure you guys fill that out and go to your uh, specific apps for that. Now, the 700 V3s, the V3s did drop this week. A few people messaged me on Instagram. I appreciate y'all for just, you know, I, I'm trying to communicate more via DMs. You know, I'm trying to slide up in there. I definitely think these were worth the buy today. I think a lot of people slept on them for no reason. It's a black Yeezy. Never, ever, 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 ever sleep on a black Yeezy. Um, once again, well worth the buy. Small base sizes specifically are doing a lot better. But the other Yeezy release we have this week is the Yeezy Basketball Blue Ice, I think it's called, or the Frozen Blue whack as shit every single quantum has done dirt this is definitely a brick in my book this is 100 percent a brick john 12s are kind of like a brick ish flip you want to make 20 bucks per pair if you pay no tax no shipping if you pay tax and shipping you're going to make probably zero dollars at the end of the day uh, i mean these might end up going for some money not even i would just not do it i would just not buy this shoe i mean i got a few quantums i got three pairs and i regret buying every single one of them they come out to like what 260 dollars even after shipping and it's look at it market ain't even that high right now um so this is definitely not a shoe i'd focus on this saturday if anything go for the 12s don't go for yeezys but listen we got a lot of good stuff we got nike basketball we got regular nike uh journal retros we had dunks this week kind of ish um oh by the way make sure you check out your sb shops for atmoses and chicago dunks i think they finally got their final shipments of these specific shoes and some are doing uh like shock raffles and shock drops make sure you stay tapped in for that supremes last week is this week we got sorovsky lighters cop that uh everything else is pretty much a calm little brick as for the time being i know there's a collab this week or well, we might break that down in a future video but that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed uh this week is shaping up to be pretty decent although it is a holiday week make sure you spend your time with friends
friends and family. Enjoy it. Sleep in. Don't worry about it. If you miss anything after Christmas, it's not a big deal. You're really missing out on $20 profit per pair. So don't stress. But anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.